Good news for Social Security and SSDI beneficiaries. The IRS has officially confirmed that a $1,400 stimulus check will be issued on August 16th to those with low income. In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know, including who is eligible for this payment, how it will be delivered, and what actions you should take to ensure you get your check without any issues. We'll also discuss how this payment could affect your existing benefits and what to expect in the coming weeks. Today, we're delving into some breaking news that could significantly impact millions of Americans. The Internal Revenue Service has just made a groundbreaking announcement a new round of stimulus checks is on the way, specifically targeting low-income Social Security and SSDI recipients. If you or someone you know receives Social Security or disability benefits, you'll want to pay close attention to this video. We're going to break down everything you need to know about this $1,400 payment schedule for August 16th. Before we get into the details, let's take a moment to understand why this is happening. As we all know, the economic impacts of recent global events continue to affect many Americans, particularly those on fixed incomes. This new stimulus check is designed to provide additional support to some of our most vulnerable citizens. In this video, we'll cover who qualifies for this stimulus payment, the exact amount you can expect to receive, when and how you'll get your check, what you need to do to ensure you receive your payment, how this payment might affect your other benefits, common questions and concerns about this stimulus check, and tips on how to make the most of this unexpected financial boost. So whether you're a recipient of Social Security or SSDI benefits, or you're helping a family member or friend who is, this video will provide you with all the essential information you need. Let's dive in and make sure you're fully prepared for this upcoming stimulus payment. Let's start by addressing the most pressing question on everyone's mind who exactly qualifies for this $1,400 stimulus check. The IRS has set specific criteria to ensure that this payment reaches those who need it most. You must be a current recipient of Social Security Retirement Benefits, Social Security Disability Insurance SSDI, Supplemental Security Income SSI, or Railroad Retirement Benefits. If you receive VA benefits, stay tuned as we'll address your situation later in the video. This stimulus check is targeted at low-income beneficiaries and the IRS has set income thresholds to determine eligibility. For single filers, your adjusted gross income AGI must not exceed $75,000 for the most recent tax year. For married couples filing jointly, the AGI limit is $150,000, and for those filing as head of household, the threshold is $112,500. You must be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, or qualifying resident alien, and you must have a valid Social Security number. Unlike previous stimulus checks, adult dependents such as college students or elderly parents may also qualify for this payment. However, if someone else claims you as a dependent on their tax return, you may not be eligible for your own stimulus check. Interestingly, you don't need to have filed a recent tax return to be eligible for this payment. The IRS will use the information they have on file from your benefit payments to determine your eligibility and send your payment. It's important to note that these eligibility criteria are similar to previous stimulus payments, but there are some key differences. For instance, the income thresholds are stricter this time, reflecting the targeted nature of this stimulus check. If you're a representative payee for a Social Security or SSDI recipient, you should receive the payment on behalf of your beneficiary. However, the funds must be used for the benefit of the Social Security or SSDI recipient, not for your personal use. For SSI recipients, there's an additional consideration. Since SSI has strict asset limits, you'll want to spend down this stimulus payment within 12 months to avoid it counting towards your resource limit. If you receive multiple types of benefits, for example, both Social Security retirement and VA benefits, you'll only receive one $1,400 payment. New beneficiaries who started receiving Social Security or SSDI benefits after January 1st of this year may also be eligible, but there might be additional steps you need to take. We'll cover that later in the video. Remember, these eligibility criteria are based on the information provided by the IRS. If you're unsure about your eligibility, it's always best to check the official IRS website or consult with a tax professional. Now that we've covered who's eligible, let's talk about the money. The base amount for this stimulus check is $1,400 per eligible individual. However, the actual amount you receive might vary based on several factors. As mentioned, the standard payment is $1,400 per eligible person. 
For married couples where both spouses are eligible, you could receive up to $2,800. If you have eligible dependents, you may receive an additional $1,400 per dependent. This includes adult dependents, which is a change from some previous stimulus payments. If your income is near the upper limit of the eligibility threshold, your payment might be reduced. The reduction starts at $75,000 for single filers, $112,500 for heads of household, and $150,000 for married couples. The payment amount decreases gradually as your income increases above these thresholds. If your income exceeds $80,000 single, $120,000 head of household, or $160,000 married, you won't receive a payment. Unlike some previous stimulus payments, this check can be offset reduced or withheld for certain debts. This includes past due federal or state taxes, child support, or other federal non-tax debts. However, the check cannot be garnished by private debt collectors or banks. For those receiving supplemental security income, remember that this payment doesn't count as income for SSI purposes. However, any amount you don't spend within 12 months could count towards your resource limit. It's crucial to understand that the IRS will use the most recent information they have on file to calculate your payment. For most Social Security and SSDI recipients, this will be based on the information from your benefit payments, not your tax returns. If you believe you're eligible for a larger payment, for example, if you have a new dependent, you may be able to claim the additional amount when you file your 2024 taxes next year. Now, let's focus on the when and how of this stimulus payment. The IRS has announced that the official payment date is August 16th, but what does this mean for you? This is the date when the Treasury Department will release the funds. However, the actual date you receive your payment may vary depending on several factors. If you receive your regular Social Security or SSDI benefits via direct deposit, you'll likely receive your stimulus payment the same way. Direct deposit recipients are typically the first to receive payments. Many direct deposit recipients may see the funds in their accounts on August 16th or within one to three business days after. If you normally receive your benefits via paper check, your stimulus payment will likely come as a paper check as well. Paper checks will start being mailed out on August 16th. Depending on your location and postal service efficiency, it may take one to two weeks for your check to arrive. If you receive your benefits on a Direct Express card, your stimulus payment will be added to this card. The funds should be available on your card on August 16th or within one to three business days after. Some individuals may receive their payment on an Economic Impact Payment EIP card. These are prepaid debit cards that the Treasury uses to distribute funds. If you receive an EIP card, it will come with instructions on how to activate and use it. The IRS typically sends out payments in waves over several weeks. If you don't receive your payment immediately, don't panic. It may be coming in a later wave. If you don't typically file taxes or you're a new Social Security or SSDI recipient since January 1st, your payment might be delayed. The IRS may need additional time to process your information. The IRS is expected to reactivate the Get My Payment tool on their website. This tool allows you to track the status of your payment. We'll provide more details on how to use this tool later in the video. It's important to note that you don't need to take any action to receive this payment if you're an existing beneficiary. The IRS and Social Security Administration will use the information they have on file to automatically send your payment. However, if you've recently moved or changed banks, you'll want to ensure that your information is up to date. Remember, while August 16th is the official payment date, it may take some time for all eligible recipients to receive their funds. The IRS advises waiting at least five weeks after August 16th before inquiring about a missing payment. For most Social Security and SSDI recipients, this stimulus payment will arrive automatically without any action required on your part. However, there are a few situations where you might need to take some steps to ensure you receive your payment or to update your information. If you're a current Social Security or SSDI recipient and your information hasn't changed, you don't need to do anything. The IRS will use the information they have on file to send your payment. If you've moved recently, you need to update your address with the Social Security Administration SSA. You can do this online through your My Social Security account or by calling the SSA at 1-800-777-21213. If you've changed banks or accounts, you'll need to update this information with the SSA. This can also be done through your My Social Security account or by calling the SSA. 
If you started receiving Social Security or SSDI benefits after January 1st of this year, the IRS might not have your information yet. In this case, you may need to file a 2024 tax return to claim your stimulus payment as a recovery rebate credit. If you don't typically file taxes due to low income, you generally don't need to take any action. However, if you have dependents that the IRS doesn't know about, you might want to file a simple tax return to potentially qualify for additional payments. If you're a representative payee, the payment will be made to you on behalf of your beneficiary. You should be prepared to receive and manage this payment for the benefit of the person you represent. 